Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business And I'm like, why not? I do it better than you <laughs> But you know guys, I forgot to include that clip So basically, I am going to preview this clip or audio For Portia Williams' debacle meant of a activist taking over her book signing um uh, show which was in um hollywood uh okay hollywood california or somewhere in that area in california i think she was at oh hell maybe she was in los angeles california i don't know wherever she was conducting her little book show okay but the activist showed up on uh her behind and was just trying to steal her thunder so i forgot it on my video that is going to be brought out um tomorrow which is really after 12 midnight today um which is where we at we here tuesday so it's going to be sh uh showing the video that i need y'all to go and definitely look at uh share like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to but I was talking about it in my other video uh, that I was going to include the clip. But I forgot to do it. Because y'all know when I get to talking, child, baby, we get in so many different conversations. And then my video go longer than what I anticipated it to go to. And child, we just forgot to put it in now. But I am going to be definitely playing it now so y'all can hear it. Hopefully I won't get any strikes or anything to that effect. Because it's just really public knowledge it was brought out by um yahoo.com as well as the garo or guru uh, site so let's see if y'all can listen to a little bit of it here she goes the act of this <laughs> so y'all can see or i should say y'all can hear the mess that went on at one of uh portia williams's book signing now I'm like where was her fiance where was her ex-boyfriend dennis baby mama or baby dad i should say now these are two men that say they love portia deeply care about her deeply i always want the best for her and want her to be happy <laughs> where were her two men okay because right now she's fighting between both of them she don't know which way to go when it comes to simon g or dennis m okay 
But hopefully she would get it together. Just like other people in real life have to get it together. They either going to love one or hate the other one. Or they're going to try to see both of them at the so uh, same time. Like you remember that song, Secret Lovers? Secret Lovers. Yes, that's what we are. Yeah, she trying to be a triangle type situation. Or how Jada Pickett says, entanglement. <laughs> like no nah, baby that's just want your cake and eat it too that's just like why can't i do it uh why not you <laughs> i was trying to rhyme there but i'm like uh uh no 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 instead portrait talent she didn't want to be in no polygamy type of um relationship but she don't want to hold she don't want to let go of dennis but she want to hold on to assignment you want to hold on to Dennis's robe, I guess, because it smells like him. Maybe his cologne was in there. And you just entice with that whole aura of his essence. And you don't want to give it up. Like, girl, d unless you bought it now. Did you buy the robe, Portia? Now, of course, you'll be deemed and looked at as a, what do you call it, uh, Indian giver or something to that sort. Sore loser or, or, you know. But, I mean, if that was your coin, that was your dollar, you dropped on it. And it didn't work out. I mean, sometimes people have to give their most expensive gifts back when they don't uh, follow through with the relationship, you know. Uh, unless they did a lot. They had to fight a lot in their relationship. Maybe not physical, but mentally and, and, and emotionally. Then, yeah, go let them have that expensive stuff. But it seems like, you know, you did your dirt. He did his dirt. But if the man paid for his Versace robe, Portia, just like you wearing that fur and you were sitting well actually you didn't take pictures in that fur when you were at your book sign so i guess you you you, you want to keep that fur you want to leave with that fur and come back intact the fur and you come back intact to atlanta so i guess somebody said uh -uh, baby let me take that fur from you because you see what we don't let in the door this activist done came up here show up and show out tried to steal your thunder which she kind of did for at least 10 minutes of that time before the ladies got their balls on them and they escorted her out okay i'm like all right then show 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 me what you're working with shake it fast <laughs> and they so got that woman quick fast and her up out of there they listened to what she had to say at the beginning but when they had said it looked like it gonna be some trouble they got her 86 up out of there honey i was like well go ahead do your thing but it should have been some men on deck it shouldn't have been women trying to escort another hostile type woman it should have been a man up there or some kind of security, like an off-duty cop or something. I'm like, come on. If Portia's selling these books out, she should be red carpeted in, you know. Get out her limousine, walk down that red carpet, and get her little pen that she liked it, or marker, and got the sign of them books. She talking about they was like pull and push, pull and push. If y'all go on her Instagram account, they were showing her how to be a true author slash uh, uh what do you call it um detailer of a book how the system's supposed to work you're supposed to grab or you're supposed to pull sign and push it to the receiving person who's who had purchased your book but i i said that actor was kind of she was kind of uh <laughs> crazy yet cute type of situation she was crazy to come up in there bold as hell i should say to go and do her little speech and call portia out for wearing fur but uh she did a cute thing she bought portia book <laughs> so she said i'm gonna start some shit but before i start i'm gonna buy you i'm gonna buy your book now it might just be something sitting on my uh coffee table kitchen dust or for decoration or it might go on my bookshelf that i might want to read later on uh, in life when I have nothing else to do but I am going to purchase your book and I'm going to show up and show out I'm going to talk about my activistness because we don't need you to be going around here uh calling yourself wearing fur and putting our baby or our um uh, our uh animals in 
uh, harm's way just to satisfy your need to have fur. She said, no, they're actually killed. And we we love you, Portia, but we don't like the actions you've taken uh, as far as purchasing uh, a, a mean coat when somebody animal had to die for that or animals had to die for that so you can be in the lap of luxury or feeling their fur how dare you come up in here <laughs> then she and they got a quote from her too she said animals are skinned alive said the activist adding it's not fashion <laughs> I like my poor show that she just can't catch a break. She can't catch a break, honey. Woo! But it is what it is. I just wanted to include that back since I had promised you all that I was going to put it in there. Okay? So, y'all enjoy it. Take it for what it was worth. You see into it. You know, pick apart whatever they said. Get down in them comments and let's have a conversation about it. Personally, me, I'm 53. Now, I knew... I ain't finna go out there and buy no uh mink coat. Or if I do, it's gonna be a lookalike. Cause I ain't getting in trouble. Them PETA activists uh from the PETA organization, they everywhere. Okay? They like the little what do you call it? Um assassin team. <laughs> that the government don't put together to say animal rights and all this stuff that show up on your doorstep, child. Be boycotting you, you be like, What is going on? Is the carolers out there? Who's singing? Who bringing in the new year spirit? <laughs> and be one of them activists out there. We love you, but stop wearing fur. We love you, but stop wearing fur. Child, please. <laughs> I'll be out there with my machete. Like, y'all better get off my doorstep. <laughs> I'm gonna wear what I want to wear. You know what I'm saying? But no, just funny games. I don't own a fur. And um, I, I don't love them. How we ain't got no leather animals running around here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble. But shoot, I ain't gonna wear it out there, honey. Ooh. But y'all uh, enjoy the video. I will see y'all next video. And don't forget to share and like my videos. Okay, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.